Okay, it starts recording right away. I just realized that. I'm recording on my iPad today. On my phone, it gives me like a countdown of like 10, 9. You click on this, it starts recording. Hi, kids. It's Monday, December 5th, and it's early. It's 8.23 in the morning. I have to start work at 10 o'clock, though, so I wanted to get this filmed and uploaded. Maybe not edited yet, but at least uploaded. I have lots to show and tell today, kids. I got piles all around me. Oh, would be nice if I had my notes out, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, my husband just called me and said he almost hit somebody on the way to his work today. I was like, what? He's like, well, you know how there's always a story, right? Please, I'm the queen of stories, right? So he says he was coming down our road because we live like on a secluded dead end road. Lots of trees, so it's really dark. And he leaves for work at like five in the morning. So he said, I'm coming down the road. And all of a sudden he goes, I see something. And he's like, I don't quite know what it is. He said, until I'm up on it. And it's a person. He said, that looks like strung out on some kind of drug because their mouth's hanging open. He said, it looked like a zombie. I was like, oh my God. So he pulled over and he called the cops. So hopefully the cops came and took care of that. So... Okay, so I'm looking down at my notes. Health update, real quick. I had no doctor appointments last week, which was awesome, okay? Tomorrow I have an MRI biopsy on my left breast just to rule out anything going on there as well because they had seen some things, so not looking forward to that, but at least it's early in the morning and I'll have that done with pretty quickly, hopefully. I'm still waiting on the genetic test results. Praying to God that's negative. Please, what, whoever prays, please pray that that's negative because if I have the breast cancer gene, that's going to change my decision for my surgery. And I already have the plan laid out. Like, I just want to do the plan that I have laid out. So praying that's negative, but a little anxious about that test. Been waiting. It's two weeks today since I had the test. So really want those results. So just to have that peace of mind. I forgot to say in my last video, on Thanksgiving, I was at my grandmother's for a short time, and she has the first cross-stitch piece I ever did. Now, I posted this on Instagram, so if you follow me on Instagram, you, you would have seen it, but it is this uh, junk food angel, heaven, junk food something magnet, and I'm going to insert a picture right here of it. Boy, that's a hot friggin' mess, isn't it? <laughs> oh my God, that's awful. Now, that thing is also, you think, I'm 42. How old are you in sixth grade? 11? So that thing is 31 years old, because that's when I stitched it. So, and then I forgot, I had stitched her and my grandfather a wedding sampler. And at the time I stitched it, I was in college, so I was going to college full-time. I was working full-time because I paid for my own schooling. And I stitched this during that time. And this took me like four months to do it because I was fitting it in between there. But I went in the back in her bedroom where she has it, and I got a picture of that. So here's a picture of that sampler. I was pretty proud of myself for doing that, for charting their names and doing all that. And that's on Ada, people. Um, but I've come a long way, haven't I? Yeah. Okay. Everyone knows my obsession with foxes now. Um, people have been sending me pictures of foxes on Instagram and stuff, and I love it. I just, I don't know why it took me this long to discover a fox, but I love them. So someone's on Instagram. Where's the piece of paper? Oh. Someone on Instagram sent me what a fox means, the meaning of a fox. So I'm going to read this to you. I will put up the picture. I'm going to put the slide up here so you can see it. But here's what it says, because I know that only is like five seconds. It says the fox is often associated with the figure of the trickster. But as a spirit animal... It can also turn into a teacher providing guidance on swiftly finding your way around obstacles. That's cool. 
If you follow the fox totem wisdom, you may be called to use or develop quick thinking and adaptability. Every damn day, people in my job. Responsive, sometimes cunning. This power animal is a great guide when you are facing tricky situations. I love the meaning of that. Tricky situation, right? We all deal with that. Okay. This next thing. This bugs me. Shocker, right? I have heard some of you say, and I think it's usually people that are overseas, when they are talking about Krynic or Rainbow Gallery or a metallic thread, they say speciality thread. I thought it was specialty. Because those are two different words. They're spelled different. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. I thought about that. So let me know. Is it specialty or is it speciality? Because when I heard speciality, I was like, I don't know why that bugged me. <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah. So let me know in the comments which it should be. Because I, I didn't do any research. You think I would have researched that, right? I didn't. Okay. So my new segment, you know, instead of like what's been happening in the cross-stitch community, I called it OMG Moments of the Week. Now, nothing bad. These are all good things. A woman named Julia, I'm looking down at my notes. A woman named Julia Lines is stitching the Hayde Snow White. And I think it's not called Snow White though. It's called like Fallen something. But here's a picture of it. Oh my holy God. That thing is awesome. And it looks just like the picture. Oh man, beautiful. And it was on Stitch Mania, so a lot of you probably saw that. Okay, and Brooks Books has released the first in her dress-up collection. It's a collection of 12 dresses and, like, shoes and crowns and stuff. And the first one is Cinderella, so here's a picture of that. Isn't that beautiful? Now, I don't think I'll ever stitch that. It reminds me of a Mirabilia, sort of. I don't think I'll ever stitch it, but I will enjoy seeing all of you stitch it. Who wants to stitch it? Another person named Leanna Yak stitched a patchwork sampler, and it is gorgeous. So here's a picture of that. Yeah, and she just used like leftover floss apparently that she had. So that looked amazing. And Country Cottage Needleworks posted a picture of someone who finished their um, gingerbread village. And her name is, I might murder this name, Paula Calafava. My writing is awful there. Oh, Cody, Cody Fava. If you're watching my video, I'm so sorry. Okay, well, what she did was she finished each piece individually. And she, you'll see in the picture. Here, here's the picture. Okay, there's a magnet on the back of those, each one. And she attached them to a magnetic board so she can arrange them any way she wants. I think that's so cool. It's like a puzzle, right? Okay, and the final, I think it's final. Let me flip the page. Yes, final OMG moment. Someone posted this on Stitch Mania and tagged me in it, of course. Another long piece of needlework. Now, this looks like it's the same type of subject as that last one that was like $7,500 or something, some ridiculous amount. This was on Craigslist. I can't imagine anyone buying cross stitch off a of Craigslist, but what do I know, right? Okay. It is 19.7 feet long. Wrap your head around that. Basically 20. You might as well say 20. 20 feet long by 27 and a half inches wide. And they have it listed on Craigslist for $9,999. People, there's no way in hell. There, no, mm, no, 
Nope. Whole lot of nope on that, right? <laughs> no. Who's spending $10,000 on cross stitch? I'd like to see that thing up close, though. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. But here's a picture of it. I don't think I said here's a picture. Yeah, no. Okay. Oh, my God. I forgot to pull the... Ah! Okay. I have to get up and get my FFO off the, off the wall because I hung it up on the wall. Just one second. I got to stand on my chair. Okay. Luckily, you didn't see me standing on my chair to do that. But yes, yeah, Saturday, I met the lovely Jill and her fam at the Stitching Post. And luckily, they had called me the day before and said my framing was ready for Oodles of Autumn. And if you follow me on Instagram and Stitch Mania, I posted it on there. I couldn't resist. But here it is. Oh, God. Didn't that turn out awesome? Love that frame. It looks like... A tree branch that's exactly what I thought right that turned out so good and I love that it's focusing iPad focused my camera um, my phone wasn't so yeah so I picked up that picked out the most awesome frame for thankful owls because I took that piece in to be framed so probably have that back in a couple weeks to show you but oh my god bird lady was in the store if you watched my last, not the last video, a couple videos back, I saw her and I said, oh my God, it's Bird Lady. She wasn't loud though. So that was good. So, and the lady at the same time that was getting the flat fold and picked out the 666 for the, she was there too, picking up the flat fold. It was so funny that they were both there. Okay. When we went to the pizza place afterwards, Jill took some pictures of me with her baby Miles, and I'm going to insert a couple of them here. Okay, now disregard the guy in the back. Because he was high. Yeah, he's like laying on the table, right? Yeah, he was high. So she couldn't help but get him in the picture. Um, but yeah, so we went to the stitching post because it was their open house. And I picked up the framing. And of course I bought stuff. So I'm going to show that now. So it's kind of out of order though from how I wanted to do it. So their free gift they were giving away. They gave it in this... God. They gave it in this cool bag. This is a checklist of Crescent Colors, Weeks Dye Works, and Gas Threads. And it's pretty cool. Here, I'll open it up and I'll. It's kind of small, but you can see. So you can check off the ones that you have. Yeah. And also in it was the free chart, and it's a free Shepherd's Bush chart. And so I have a, a piece of their of the finished piece right here. Yeah, so of course, next to the pattern, they were selling the kit. So I bought the kit for it. Because isn't that cute? Yeah. And they had Ada kits and even Weaver linen. I bought the linen kit. Yeah, because I don't stitch on Ada anymore. So I got that. And I bought a pair of scissors because Jill and I love these little thread cutters. Um, I bought the pink ones. I have purple ones, but I'm going to be giving them to my sister for Christmas to use with her I bought her a little cross stitch kit. She wants to learn how to cross stitch. So got those. I got some needles. I got some 28 ones. <laughs> got some 28. Yeah. And then I also got some more beading needles because I always feel like I need them. Now, this next thing I bought basically just to do this video. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever use this, but I'm going to demonstrate it right on camera for you, which might be a hot mess, but... Wait a minute, let me see. Okay. This is called a bead funnel tray. I don't know if any of you have seen that. 
it reminds me of a hot water bottle, right? Okay. The idea, you're supposed to pour your beads in here, go about beading, and then when you have leftover beads and you want to save them, this comes off, and you're supposed to be able to pour this back into your container. Let's give it a go. Because I have a pack of beads here that I bought to use for eyes, because French knots, nope. A whole lot of nope on that. Not doing French knots, ever. <laughs> Okay, it's a hard plastic. I like the color though. This is the only color they had. They just had pink. Okay. Oh, I'm an idiot. No, don't screw the thing off first before you put your beads in it because then it'll be falling everywhere. Now, usually when I open a pack of beads, which, why am I having so much trouble? I wind up spilling them. I've spilled an entire pack of beads on the floor, people. It's not good. And these are small. Okay. Okay. So I'm trying to kind of show you. They're in here. I can't tilt it too much because, okay. Da, da, da. Okay, I'm done beating. We're going to pretend that I'm going to pour these back in this pack. Un oh, God. Unscrew the lid. Now you get to pour them back in here. Let me bend this so it's really open. Well, that worked surprisingly well. Some of them stuck in the lid though. Oh my God, that worked. That worked awesomely. That worked amazing. You know what? I will be using this. You know when I'll be using this? I just realized it. When I stitch that fairy dust pixie, Jesus, peace, no, faith, trust, and pixie dust one, and I'm doing the pixie dust, there's one bead and it won't come out. I think it just went on the floor. Yeah, faith, trust, and pixie dust, and I'm going to be stitching. That worked. That was only $2.75. That's awesome. Love that. Yeah, faith, trust, and pixie dust. And I'm doing the pixie dust all in beads. Look, they're all back in there. Win-win people on that. Okay, and I also got two charts. I got Plum Street Samplers Mary Brew. Because let's face it, look at that. The deer is standing on the other deer's head. And Santa is holding a cup of coffee. How did I not know this pattern existed before now? I didn't even know. Someone on Instagram was stitching it or stitch me. And I was like, oh, Santa is holding coffee. Gotta have that. And then I also got Ink Circle Spring Snow. They had the model stitched in the store of this. Oh man, it looks so good. Now, I will not stitch it on, they stitch it on Weeks Dye Works. Linen. Dove. It looked good, but no, I have, I have so much hand dyed fabric. No. Okay. I also got my new jam berries in. Now I'm sure you saw, I did this manicure yesterday. It's like comic book Snow White. They're very cool. But I got my villains ones in the other day. I can't wait to do these. These are the queen of hearts ones. Look at those. Man, I can't wait to do those. These are, I think these are Maleficent. Look at them. They're kind of crazy, right? <laughs> but it was called like, I am evil or something. And I thought, hell, I've got to buy it just for the name. These are my favorite too. Look at the purple. And it's glittery. Yeah. So, can't wait to do those. I do my Jamberry manicures about once every, depends on the kind of Jamberry. Like, these aren't foil. The ones that aren't foil stay on my fingers a lot longer. Probably two weeks I'll be able to get by with this. The ones that are foil tend to, it's only like a week or so, but it's worth it. Okay. I'll just show you the rest of my haul. For, well, no, you know, let me show you my whip that I've been working on. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm working on Lizzie Kate's Snow Story. Got the name right this time. 
And I didn't get as much done as I wanted this week, but... Oh, let me try to get behind it so you can... Jesus. There we go. Okay. I finished the middle one, and then I started on this one. So I've done that. Um, the Q, the Grime Guard is from Maggie's Minders. This Needle Minder is from Down Sunshine Lane. The Fox one is from Cassie's Needle Minders. And this is stitched on 32 Count Lugana from Seraphim Fabrics, who doesn't do fabric anymore. And this is the color Ascension. Um, this fabric is perfect for it. Now, I'm also stitching this one thread over two on 32 Count because... I got hella tired fighting with two threads, trying to get them to lay straight. This has worked out really well. I'm hoping I can use one thread on all my projects going forward. Now, I've already picked out my next project after Snow Story, because I'm ambitious like that. And it's going to be this one. The Prairie Schoolers Evergreen. Whoopsie. I really like that. Look at that fox right there. Now, the fabric I'm going to stitch it on is this piece of gorgeousness from Chromatic Alchemy Feldspar. This is 32 Count Murano. Yeah, won't that look good? Uh-huh. And it, all it does is call for all DMC. So I have the DMC and it's only seven colors, something like that. Not many. Yeah, that's going to look so good. Okay, now I'll go through the rest of my haul because I've got, mo got more. All right, told you I bought my sister a cross-stitch kit. I figured this would be easy enough to teach her. She saw my Hocus Pocus on Instagram and was like, oh my God, you stitched that? Yeah, I did. She's like, I want to learn. All right, I'll give it a shot. So this is part of her Christmas gift. I put the scissors in there, but yeah, so it comes with the thread and a little, an Ada, and needle. Done deal, people. So I hope she likes it, because it'd be nice to have another family member stitching. My sister's only 11, so here's hoping, right? Okay. I got some fabric in the mail. I got a piece of 32 Count Gingerbread Lugana from Picture This Plus. I like that. Yeah, I'm really liking their Lugana, so I'm glad because they have a lot of cool colors. So I got that, and I finally got my needle minder order from Minding My Minders. I can imagine she was supremely inundated because she was closing. But here's the ones I got. My birth month is May. Happy Halloween, of course. Happy fall. Love that coffee cup. That is actually a letter D, I think, in the middle. I kept looking at it because I couldn't remember what I ordered. Or it's just a nice scroll. I don't know. And then I did get the letter D in the... So, love those. So, I was glad to get those. And I got some patterns. Of course, because McKenna was stitching that Jardin Privé. Which, by the way, that pattern's coming. It was on back order. I got a couple more. I got this one, Quaker de Noel. Now, and I've already picked out a fabric for it. Won't this look good? Uh, 32 count linen from Hand Eye Fabrics by Stephanie in Caramel Macchiato. With the, um, they used wine by Nina's Threads. I think I'm gonna use uh, a variegated color, uh, DMC color variations. Yeah, love that. So I got that one. And then I also got My Ladies Quaker. Love that. Nicole's Needlework actually stitched this a long time ago when it came out. And it looks awesome. And then I also got one called Stitch, Stitch, and Forget the Time. Halloween. Isn't that cool? Okay. Now, this next pattern that I got needs no introduction. I'm just going to hold it up. Ah! This is a book, people. When I open, look at that. It's a book. It is a book with like 10 pages. 
Oh, good God. Lindy from Lindy Stitches is stitching this, and hers looks amazing. Yeah, had to get that. Had to get it. Now, because I like Rosewood Manor so much, I also had to get another two more patterns from them. Gerald, Ginger Gerald Stitcher, Crowns of the Kingdom. Look at that! His looks amazing, even though he had to restart it. Yeah, I won't stitch this on white either. That's boring. I don't know what I'll stitch it with, but or on, but yeah, isn't that an awesome? And then I got the keys to the kingdom. Uh huh. Yeah, I need to live to on like a thousand to be able to stitch all this stuff. And I got a pattern from Glendon Place. I really like this one. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I've been eyeing this one up for a while. And I was like, hell, just buy it. Right? And because I have been loving Harry Potter as I get through the movies, I haven't seen any more movies past number three. And I can't show you these patterns because it's just the pattern, but I can insert some pictures. These are all from Fiddlesticks. I got... I solemnly swear I am up to no good because I just finished the number three one and it had the map in it. So here's a picture of that. And then I got one called True Love's Kiss. I saw someone stitching this and it looked great. So here's a picture of that. And then Mischief Managed, which is also from the Harry Potter, the third movie, where that's how you make the map disappear. So I also got this pattern. Yeah! Loving that Harry Potter. Okay. The last bit of haul I got is fabric. I got my large order in from Color Cascade Fabrics. And Tammy is so wonderful. If you have not ordered her fabrics, please do. They're amazing. But she sent me this free tote bag with it. Cool! Love that! So I got quite a bit of fabric from her this time. All 32 count Joblin. This one is Blue Ocean Floor. I'm going to leave them folded because you'll be able to see them easier that way. I'm going to, I bought this to stitch a Satsuma Street pattern on. The one that, it looks like a castle. Or like a Buddhist temple, it reminded me of. It's like white and gold. That's what I wanted to stitch this on. This is my favorite one. This one's called After the Rain. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I love, that's my favorite one. This one is called dreams a bright pink don't know what i'll stitch on that but something now this one she had uh, emailed me and said she didn't like how it turned out but i loved it it's called brown sugar it's like a burgundy brownie i like it that'd be that'd be nice to stitch like something all in white on it not death by cross stitch because it's not a big enough piece now here's a pretty one too wicked garden Look at that one. Ooh. Yeah. Autumn Carnival. Oh, these fabrics. I love them. Love. Now, the final piece I got from her, I actually ordered Rocket Queen, which is like a bright orange. And she said she didn't like how it turned out on Joblin, but she's going, how the piece that she dyed turned out on Joblin. She's going to re-dye it and send it to me. But she sent me a free piece of it on... This is Belfast Opal. Woo! Thank you so much, Tammy. I love these. Thank you for the free fabric. And I also got my fabric of the month in for November from Stephanie, which is called Certiwin. Here, I'm going to hold up the tag. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that, but this is beautiful. This is also a 32 count Joblin because that's all I get from her. It's not really that accurate. It's beautiful. It's like... A grayish, pinky, purple. Yeah, love that. Love her fabrics. Okay, well, I did, besides 
that wasn't all my haul. I actually went to Walmart because I broke my phone charger that I just brought. Um, word to the wise, don't walk with your phone when it's still plugged in because it bent the charger. Like, really? So I went to Walmart, and just like any other store, I usually can't walk in and out and just get that. So I got a couple other things. Um, Sherry Burkett in her video had showed this frame. And I actually got one. This was the last one they had. I really like it. That's my sister's school picture from this year, sixth grade. So I put that on there. I really like that. And I got a new insulated cup, which I can color this, but I actually like it in black and white. And if I take time to color this, that's time that I'm not stitching. So yeah, this cup is like really sturdy. Now, my last insulated cup, I somehow lost the lid in the straw. How does that happen? I don't know. I don't know how I did that. So yeah. And then, okay, when I dye my hair, you know I do my own nails, I do my own hair color. If I could cut my own hair, I would. I got this hair color. I saw this in the grocery store. This is not from Walmart. Look at that though. You're gonna be seeing that backwards because I can see it the right way, okay. You're, I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm going to give it a shot. It's supposed to create an ombre effect. Like you're supposed to be darker up here and then fade to light. Like if you look at, maybe that'll, if you look at it that way, that's her hair before all one color. And then that's after. I'm really curious how that's going to work. Like, how do you do that? I don't know, but I'm willing to give it a shot. It's only hair people, right? So stay tuned for that. Maybe I'll shoot a little video of that and do that live on camera. Wouldn't that be something? Okay, my husband and I, before I show my gifts, because people, you have outdone yourself with gifts for me. I, I can't say thank you enough. I received many more gifts this week. Um, so much so that they all came basically in one day, and the mail lady had to give me one of those bins. And my husband was home, and he was like, the hell is this love people I told him I said people love me <laughs> okay my husband and I every year we like to go around and see Christmas lights and we went this past Saturday night and this time I filmed it so this is like a 16 minute video so just to warn you but I'm going to insert it right here so you can see what we saw Wow, yeah, look at that house. You wanna get out and look around or? Um, no, we don't have to. Wow. Let's let up. That's really nice. That's pretty cool. Though. That's pretty amazing. I mean look at all the lights on the house. Yeah, well, like, look like Griswold house. <laughs> oh my god. That's so cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We are coming up on an awesome house that we come to see every year. Lots of lights. Lots of stuff. Lots and lots. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is like major electric bill for like a month. Yeah, it is. Pretty awesome. Lots of st oh, I like the reindeer. That's new, isn't it? That Santa looks real. Yeah. Let me put my window down for that. Oh, thank you. I couldn't find the button. <laughs> yeah, it's like coming up. Look, there's a Santa and the sleigh, and then oh, the reindeer. And they have a circular driveway, so it's really cool because you can just ride around and then ride right out. <laughs> but now we are heading to my favorite Christmas light display of any. It is a giant Christmas tree that is in someone's front yard. The tree's taller than their house. 
and it's all lit up. We'll be there in like two minutes, so be right back. Okay, we're almost there, we're only like a street away. I wanna film my reaction, cause I'm gonna scream when I see it. I know I am. Yeah, we're, we'll get out of the car this time. So I can film it good. But it, I see it! I see the top of it! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Can you see it in the distance? Look at that. I know it's not even gonna do it justice, seriously. Oh my God. Oh my God. This thing, oh my God. Oh, I'm gonna say. No, uh-uh. The first time I ever saw this tree. Let me turn the camera. This way. Now you can see their house and how tall it is. The whole thing is covered in lights. The first time I ever saw this, we were just driving somewhere and we came by this street and I said, now here comes a car, it's gonna go right in my line of vision. Oh my god, yes! It's beautiful, eh? Yeah, they must get a sky lift. They got to. I mean, look, there's even yeah, a star like at the top of it. Attraction around. Yeah, it's my favorite one. I know, it's nice. A lot of work. You guys have a good night. Thanks, you, you too. Work. But anyway, we were, we were just driving from home from dinner one night, and I was glancing down side streets, and I saw it, and I went, Stop, stop, turn around! He's like, what are you talking about, crazy woman? I'm like, there is the most awesome tree ever. Oh my God. And look, they even have presents at the bottom. Can you see the presents? Oh my God, this is my favorite thing all year. Seriously. Okay. Oh, wait a minute, okay. He's gonna, what, go on the sidewalk? It's freezing. There she goes, she's running. Look at her. Look, look how small she is compared to that tree. Get in front. <laughs> Alright, you come back now. That is. Is like, oh my god. I can see you. Oh, I see your face like a. Okay, we're gonna go to. Are we going to one more? What is yeah. it? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to one more house. Okay, we're coming upon the last house that we always come and see every Christmas. Pretty cool. It's like three neighbors that do lights. I'm trying to not get the car. Yeah, you're good. Oh yeah, go ahead. You hold it. So you'll you'll get it better. But yeah, there's one house, and then here's another one. I mean, these are a lot of lights, people, and blow ups and all that crap. It's so cool, though. Yeah. Yep. We always take one night right around. Oh, look at the roof. I know, it's got Grinch it's like, yeah. on the roof and Santa and the reindeer. Very cool. Yeah. At least those three houses do it together. That's pretty cool. There's mm. a lot of stuff to see there, though. Oh, I know. Yeah, it looks good. It does. It looks really good. It's very cool. <laughs> Very cool. Yep, very cool. Yeah, I'll be able to get through the window as you're going by. Yeah. And then here's the last house, like their neighbor. They got quite a bit of stuff too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, good. That was it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the Christmas lights. Well, we're gonna go home show more. Oh yeah, when we get home, we're heading home now. We're only like 10 minutes from home. 
we'll show you what's in our front yard because we have some stuff in there too. Okay, we're home. Here's our neighbor. She's got a bunch of little like those blow up things and then here is our house. <laughs> we have a bunch of blow ups in the front yard. Winnie the Pooh and Mickey Mouse and a penguin. I watched these, um, they're set on a timer and I watched these blow up the other day. It was awesome. <laughs> it was so funny. Okay. I hope you enjoyed our Christmas lights. Now back to my video. Okay, if you sat through that 16 minutes, awesome, right? You're awesome. So, there is a reward at the end of this video, though, for you sticking with me. Trust me. Trust me. You want to stay to the end of this video. Okay, my gifts. First gift I received was from a Facebook friend named Linda. She sent me this awesome coffee mug. Isn't that girl cute? Java Joanna. Love coffee mugs. You people know that. But she also ordered from Deanna's Frame Covers and Storage. I'm going to put her card up there. I got a Q-Snap Grime Guard in this pattern. I'll, you'll be able to see the pattern with the bag. A little bag, Coffee Diva, and then a big bag that can probably fit my 11 by 11 Q-Snap. Yeah, thank you, Linda. Wasn't that awesome? Love those. Coffee, foxes, all kinds of stuff. Okay. Another Facebook friend, Lindsay, she racked me a pattern, a geometric pattern of a fox. And I can't show you the pattern because it's just the pattern, but I'm going to insert a picture right here of it. Yeah, isn't that cool? She said it reminded her of when I stitched the uh, Autumn Bird from Satsuma Street. All those bright colors. Yeah, I love that. Okay, now from another Facebook friend, Judy. I She sent me this life journal. This thing is awesome. Look how big that is. Let me try to flip through some of these pages and show you. This is amazing. And it comes with like this big calendar. Yeah, I love this. I mean, I know that, you know, I said I was going, you know, I'm always trying to feel like I'm trying to fix myself. I'm a work in progress, people, just like our projects. This is amazing. Thank you so much, Judy. Love books. Okay, now, Jennifer from Delicious Threads. I literally screamed when I opened her present. And if you're on Stitch Mania, you saw. But first she sent me two needle minders. Oh my God, love that. Purple glitter. Fox, please. But look what she sent me. This is a Starbucks cup that is reusable. And it says Danielle's Coffee. Oh my God. And look, and on the top of it, I have to try to like, shit. It's got coffee in it. There is a fox on the top of this. Okay, see it? Yeah. And then, I mean, it looks like a regular Starbucks cup. I have been using this every day this week. Thank you, Jennifer. I screamed when I saw that. And it's hard for you to tell, but this is not black. This is like a purple glitter in the light. It looks awesome. Oh my God, I did. I screamed out loud. Luckily, I was the only one home. Okay. From, let me look at the card. Look at this little fox card. Look at that. This is from Jacqueline. And she sent me, this is one of my favorite gifts that I've received. It's called a clinging cross. Look at that. Where you just, you know, I don't have a rosary or anything like that. This is awesome. Um, Jacqueline unfortunately lost her husband, I think just a year ago, and someone had given her one of these and she said it really helped her. And it even came with like a little card, but that's not all she sent. She also sent me two needle minders. Love them. 
she sent me a cross stitch pattern book from Stony Creek that's called Cross Stitch for the Soul, which I don't have this. Some really cool patterns in here. And then, ah, look at him. His eyes are glittery. This is my second stuffed fox. His name is Slick. I love him. I love it. Oh my God. Yeah. Thank you, Jacqueline, for all those lovely things. I got to reach on the floor because I didn't have enough table space. Put all this stuff. From Marlene, another Facebook friend. She sent me four books. This one. This one. This one. And then this one. I love reading books about self-help, about spirituality. Uh, I'm going to show you a book that I've been reading all week from Claire of Crafty Creative Claire. My favorite book of all time, as spiritual-wise. I recommend anyone to read that book. I'm going to get that book right now. I didn't bring it over. Okay. I think I showed this book when she bought it for me. This is the most awesome book. This woman that wrote this book was a drug addict, was an alcoholic, um, just totally destroying her life. And she came back and made it and just by the grace of God. And what I like about this is that each chapter is pretty short. So you can get through it. Like I try to read a chapter a day, but I'm going to show you some of the inside real quick because I've been highlighting stuff in it. I'm going to show you a page like where I highlighted some stuff. Because like, okay, one of the things I highlighted that said, life is hard, not because we're doing it wrong, just because it's hard. And it is. I think life on some level is hard for everybody. But yeah, you can see I highlighted, and I even wrote notes there. I highlighted some things in here. Just an awesome, amazing book. Now from our own Stitching Petunia, Terry. I got this in the mail. Now this is the gift bag. I love that bag. I'm going to save that bag. But she sent me, which I love. A journal love that it's like a soft leather and on each page I just hit myself in the face with it on each page it has um, proverbs or Psalms or whatever I love this thank you so much Terry yeah you know her uh, obsession her and Joe with notebooks that was perfect because I don't even have a journal besides that big one that Judy got me but this one mm-hmm yeah Okay, my final set of gifts is from Belinda. And Belinda wrote me this long letter. People, you don't even know how much I appreciate the handwritten cards. Because who does that anymore? Most people send email, right? So here's what Belinda got me. Get ready. I had to put it on my lap. She first sent me some authentic Mexican hot chocolate drink tablets. I haven't tried these yet because I had it in my closet for doing this video. Can't wait to try that. She sent me two needle minders from Abby. Love them. She sent me this book, which I've looked at a couple of his books and I've never read any. I cannot wait to read this one. This man's written a lot of books. Yeah. look at this okay now I thought this was a change purse but it is not wait till I show you what it is if you follow me on Instagram you know what it is it's a sewing kit look at that isn't that the most awesome thing ever but she sent me this too ah so now I'm sleep with this this is this sits on my bed I sleep with this every night. I'm not afraid to tell you people that. I named him Sly. But he was attached to this big fluffy blanket. Yeah! Didn't I get some good gifts this week, people? Oh, my God. 
Thank you to everyone who has sent me gifts. You have no idea how much this has lifted my spirits and just, I've felt the love people. So, I thought this video was going to be a lot longer, but it's not. We are to the end. Now, because of all of your generosity and support and love since my diagnosis, I have decided I want to do a giveaway. Four people are going to receive something. Now I went through my own stash for three parts of it. So I'm going to list these. I better take some notes so I know. Where's my notebook? Okay. Pen. Shit. The pen went all the way to the back of my shelf. Damn it. Okay, I'll, I'll know when I watch this video back. Okay. Number one. Now keep these numbers in mind. So get a pen and paper or something because I'm going to ask you in the comments. Don't mention giveaway. Don't do any of that. I'm not going to put giveaway in the title of this video because I don't want people that aren't subscribers and people that normally watch my videos just coming and getting in on a giveaway. And I also don't want you guys to receive things that you don't want. So you let me know in the comments. Just put the number. One, two, three, or four. What ones you want to be entered in. Uh, you cannot win more than one. I want four different people to win it. And I will mail anywhere for this one. Even internationally. Because I've received many gifts from the UK and Australia. So I'm not going to limit it to just the US. Okay, number one giveaway. The very last issue of Cross Stitch and Needlework. Now, this is my own personal issue. I just flipped through it. So you'll get that. Plus, this Mill Hill Button and Beads kit. Yeah, I love this, but I will never stitch it. And I realize that. A fat quarter of Picture This Plus 28 Count Ale Lugana. 28 Count Joblin. Fat Quarter from Pole Stitches in Key Lime. And then you're going to get a bunch of patterns. This is a pretty good one. The Oz Quaker from RETM. I love this, but I know I'll never stitch it. Prairie Moon Pattern. Another Prairie Moon Pattern. A pattern called Ghostly Encounters from Stitches Through Time. And Sue Hillis Designs Dark Shadows. So that's just the number one giveaway. That's the first one. Number two giveaway. You're going to get some Better Homes and Gardens tarts because you know these are my favorite, right? But you're also going to get this handmade Oort container. This is awesome. I have used this. This is used. But you're not, yeah, it looks brand new. You're going to get this 11 by 11 Q-snap with this Q-snap grime guard on it. And you're going to get this So Much to Love bag. So that's number two. Number three is these five needle minders. I made this one, but the rest have been bought. And these are two Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery ones. You're going to get this bag from Mama Joan. And there is like six Mohs Sail threads in there. And then you're going to get some containers. One of these. One of these, the smaller one. And then one of the big ones. Now, the fourth giveaway. I know all of you are going to want, to want this one. I am going to give one lucky person a $50 gift certificate to 123 Stitch. Yes, people, you heard me correctly. I have received so much love and gifts, and I'm, I, I want to give back. I absolutely do. I'm sorry that I can't give everyone something, but four lucky people are going to get some stuff from me. So in the comments below, put the numbers one, two, three, four, or all four. You can put one, two, three, and four if you want to be entered in every single one. I will leave this open for comments 
until I'm going to say Christmas. Christmas Day, I'm going to close the comments on this video. So, which gives you almost three or four, three weeks to watch this video and enter. Then I will take the next week because I'm going to have to write down everybody's name and everything and what numbers they want. I will pick a winner on New Year's Day. How about that? January 1st. So, I think that's it. Oh, I actually wanted to give you a little tour of my craft closets. People have been showing like where they put all their stuff. So I thought I would give you guys a tour of mine. And that'll be the last part of my video. Move all the crap here. Okay. So, wow, this might not work as well as I thought it would. Okay, the very top shelf has my scroll rods for my stitch mate. And, yeah, this is not really going to work, but I'm going to try. Why is this not? Maybe I, I'm afraid. Okay, you know what? Forget it. This is not going to work. Maybe it'd be better if I did it with my camera. Well, if I did it from back here, maybe. No. Mm -mm. Okay, forget it. <laughs> Wow, that was like a bust, right? Um, but yeah, I keep, you know, haul, gifts, all of my stuff is in there. Besides in my cards, I have fabric and patterns. But everything else, like extra thread and envelopes and my project bags, that's all kept in my closet. So, okay. You know, live and uncut, people. <laughs> I did not try to film that before to see if that was going to work. Okay, so this is it. Enter the giveaway. Uh, I'm really excited about it to give back some of my, you know, I have a ton of shit. We know this. So all of you have a great stitchy week. Happy stitching, happy stashing, and I'll see you next Monday.